For the first problem, we need to model uh, cantilever beam using RISM to calculate reaction, draw, shear, and bending moment diagrams. Uh, our beam is a cantilever. We have fixed support here. Uh, the total length is 10 feet. We have uniform distributed load, two concentrated load, and one concentrated mode. Actually, we are going to assume the cross section of this beam uh, 12 inch time 24 inch. Uh, your material is concrete. Actually, it doesn't matter which cross section and which uh, material because our structure in this homework is determined structure. So we don't care about uh, what type of material, what type of cross section. Okay, so the first step we need to put our origin x axis and y axis. So the coordinate in x direction at 0, 6, and 10 in y direction only at 0. Let's start RISA from insert point, uh, sorry, joint, enter, 0 and 0, this is the first one. One more enter at x equal 6 and y 0. Enter at x equal 10 and y 0. Once you are done, we have three nodes in one, in two, and in three. Uh, I'm not interested for this grid, so you can hide it from view drawing grid. Make some zoom. The second step to draw your member from insert members. Uh, material of the cross section is concrete. Your cross section can be defined from the spot. You said your cross section is rectangle, your depth 24 inch, width 12 inch. Okay, apply. So I'm ready to draw my members from this node to this one, and that one. I'm done. So escape from your keyboard. The third step is to, apply, uh, to define your boundary condition or uh, supports insert boundaries our support is fixed support so i choose fixed fixed means we have reaction in x we have reaction in y we have reaction as a moment apply just click here only one click add node at the first node to define the fixed support the next step to define the uniform distributed load as I mentioned, we have uniform distributed load. Your value um, is 2 k per foot in y direction in negative y direction. So the first value of the distributed load here is negative 2. The end value is negative 2 from 0 to 6 feet. From insert distributed load. In y direction means vertical, start magnitude negative 2. Remember, your units kept per foot, so I'm good. End value negative 2, start point at 0, end point at distance 6. Apply. I'm ready to apply my distributed to just click on this member. So I am done. The next uh, load is joint load at this one we have vertical concentrated load insert joint load your value your direction in y direction magnitude is negative 10 your unit is kept apply just click here we have concentrated load 10 cap in y negative one more time insert joint load in y direction negative 8 apply just click here the last one is the concentrated moment at that moment is 40 cap foot uh, it's clockwise so your value will be negative i believe 
so insert joint load uh, direction not y not x it's moment your value will be negative 40 apply just click here i am done with my concentrated moment so remember if your moment is clockwise so it's a negative value you are ready right now to solve your problem but before starting to solve we will define load combination just enter for basic load case i'm going to choose basic load i don't care about on weight of the structure uh, my concern right now i need to calculate reaction and the internal forces only due to the applied force distributed load two concentrated load and one concentrated moment so i choose basic load case your factor is one is working uh, working load not ultimate load so your factor is one to start to solve just solve solve i am done to show up the internal forces uh, from this icon we can choose shear force uh, you can hide your applied force by this icon so the shown diagram is shear force diagram that makes sense we have linear relationship for the distributed load for shear we have cons uh, constant here to show up moment that moment is drawn on the tension side of the beam not like in the textbook on the compression side so it's different it's the same diagram but in opposite direction uh, if you try to show up the axial force there is no axial force because we don't have any forces in the x direction um, for reaction show up x direction nothing in x reaction in y we have one vertical in y here and moment we have concentrated moment if you remember for fixed support we have three reaction x y and moment for deformed shape you can show up the deformed and the undeformed shape like this so uh, for deformation at fixed support we don't have any movement we don't have any rotation so this point will go down due to the applied force For the second problem, uh, we have a frame uh, and we are looking to calculate reaction and draw uh, shear, actually not shear only, axial and shear and moment diagrams for the shown frame using RISA. Uh, we are going to assume our cross section, the same like before, 12 inch times 24 inch material is concrete um, the first step we are going to assume our origin here and put x and y remember the support is pin and that support is roller um, the first point at zero and zero the second node at 12 and zero this node at 0 and 15 that's node at 12 and 15 let's start with reason we can start file new yes insert joint first one at 0 and 0 second one at x equal 12 and y equal 0 third one at x equal 0 y equal 15 fourth one at x equal 12 and y equal 15 from view you can hide your grid here is the four node of the frame okay from insert members material concrete the spot this spot to define a cross section dimension uh, depth is 24 and width is 12 
Okay. Hoppla. From this node to this one. Horizontal member and vertical member. I am done. Your supports. Insert. Boundaries. We have a roller support. Apply here. The first one. Skip. The second support. Insert. Boundaries. We have hinge support at this location. Okay. For the distributed load, actually your distributed load is uniform distributed load. Your value here will be negative 2 and the value at the end is negative 2 also. Negative in y, in negative y direction. But remember, the start point at 0, the end point at 8 feet, not at the total distance. So, insert distributed load direction y start value negative 2 end value negative 2 start distance at 0 end distance not the total distance it's at 8 only apply just click here i put the distributed load at location from 0 to 8 at this point it's a joint load we can start with the vertical one in y direction it's negative four click here one more time insert joint load in x direction which is negative three remember for this joint we have the vertical one in y direction negative y the horizontal force in x direction negative x so negative x apply just click here so we have concentrated horizontal force we are done so from loot combination just from basic loot case we are looking for case number one we don't like to calculate any internal forces due to the own weight of the structure so i don't care about the dead load just uh, your factor is one we don't need to make any uh, factor of safety for the applied load just start to solve solve it's okay we are done uh, you can you can show axial force you can hide your applied force that makes sense we don't have any axial force for this member yeah equals this force comes here and cannot move in this manner anyway uh, for act for shear force and for bending moment reactions in x direction we have horizontal force here in y direction we have two vertical forces and you can show up the internal forces remember you can hide your moment by here you can hide your reaction by there and the here is the deformed shape that makes sense because this applied force will move this node to here and this node to here so your frame will move looks like this this applied force will push this frame to left and that's right. For problem number three, we are going to do, uh, calculate forces in this truss using Risa. The Each member uh, consists of a double channel, looks like this. We can pick up any cross section. It doesn't matter because our structure is determined structure. So, we are going to assume this one is the origin and it is x axis y axis that point at zero and zero this point three zero three in x zero and y that point one point five in x and one point five in y the last one will be three and three okay remember your units here is three meter three meter your load is ten kilonewton so first step we need to figure out what is the 
units so from units yeah we are need we need to uh, change it to standard metric standard metric means meter and kilonewton it's very important to change your unit before starting if you forgot you have to start from scratch okay insert point first one at zero and zero second one at three and zero third one 1.5 and 1.5 the fourth one three and three view show grid it will hide your grid the second step insert member it's hot rolled okay no we will choose cold format to able to choose channel we can use it as back to back double channel and i can pick up any cross section it doesn't matter because your cross section your member your structure is determined and we are we don't like uh, we, we we are not looking for own weight of structure so it doesn't matter before apply and before drawing your member remembers remember your member in trust is two force member that means we have bin at the beginning and one bin at the end that means before starting to draw you have to release and make sure you have bend at both ends apply and draw your members from this one to this one once you are done just escape to escape your command the next step to define your uh, support we have been support here and the roller support on the other side so insert boundaries pin at this location insert boundaries roller on the other side the only concentrated load is horizontal concentrated load in x direction positive x direction so insert joint load in x direction in kilonewton so it's positive 10 apply just to click here we are the load combination enter basic load case just load case number one your scale factor is one that's it solve solve it's okay no problem so for internal forces the only thing in trust is axial force we don't have if you try to show up shear no shear no moment the only one is axial force and that member is zero force member and that one is yeah zero force member also that makes sense uh your reaction in x your reaction in y and your deformed shape you can hide your axial force you can hide your reaction and here is the deformed shape of the thrust you can mix this the format shape ex more execution you can make it more uh, zoom in you can zoom in to make it bigger not bigger in value but bigger in drawing so from this icon and deflection you can increase the magnification factor maybe you can do it 80 percent apply yes your deflection does not increase but uh, there is magnifications happen for drawing the format shape 